Join me as I dive deep into the complex and tragic story of the Kolkata doctor's rape and murder case, piecing together all the updates and uncovering the truth behind this heartbreaking event. The brutal rape and murder of a young doctor in Kolkata sent shockwaves across the nation, sparking widespread outrage and demands for justice. The case brought to the forefront the disturbing reality of gender-based violence and the urgent need for reform in our justice system. Gender-based violence is a stain on our society, and this case is a stark reminder of the dangers that women face every day. The fact that this heinous crime was committed in a busy area of the city, with no regard for human life, is a clear indication of the mindset of the perpetrators. The questions that arise from this incident are many, what kind of society do we live in, where such brutal crimes can take place with impunity? What kind of justice system do we have, where perpetrators can roam free, while the victims and their families suffer? The case also highlights the need for a more efficient and effective justice system. The investigation process, the collection of evidence, and the trial process, all these need to be re-examined to ensure that justice is served swiftly. The fact that it takes years, sometimes even decades, for a case to reach its conclusion, is a clear indication of the systemic flaws that need to be addressed. The perpetrator may have been caught, but the system that allows such crimes to happen needs to be fixed. Furthermore, the case brings to the forefront the role of the media and its influence on public opinion. The way the case was reported, the language used, and the focus on the victim's personal life rather than the crime itself, all need to be re-examined. The media has a responsibility to report the news in a sensitive and responsible manner, without sensationalizing it or glorifying the perpetrator. On the fateful day of the incident, the victim, a young doctor, was returning home from her hospital duty when she was abducted, raped, and brutally murdered. The investigation that followed was slow and inefficient, with the police struggling to find leads and gather evidence. It was only after weeks of protests and public pressure that the police were able to make any headway in the case. As the investigation progressed, it became clear that the perpetrators were not just ordinary criminals, but were in fact, a group of individuals who had been emboldened by their social and economic status. They had no fear of the law, and believed that they could get away with anything. The police, however, were determined to ensure that justice was served, and they left no stone unturned in their pursuit of the perpetrators. The investigation took many twists and turns, with the police facing many challenges and setbacks along the way. There were moments when it seemed like the case would go cold, but the police persisted, driven by their determination to bring the perpetrators to justice. And finally, after months of hard work, they were able to crack the case, and bring the perpetrators to book. The arrest of the suspects was a major breakthrough in the case, and it sent a strong message to the perpetrators of gender-based violence that they would not be tolerated. The fact that the police were able to gather enough evidence to ensure a conviction was a testament to their hard work and dedication. In the end, justice was served, but the case left a lasting impact on the public consciousness. It brought to the forefront the need for a more sensitive and responsive justice system, and the importance of raising awareness about gender-based violence. It also brought people together, with citizens from all walks of life coming forward to demand justice for the victim and her family. The Kolkata doctor's rape and murder case is a stark reminder of the challenges that we face as a society, but it also shows us that if we come together, we can make a difference. We can create a society where women feel safe, where gender-based violence is not tolerated, and where justice is served swiftly and fairly. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to learn more about similar cases, be sure to check out our other videos on this topic.